Interesting guy in camp, Mike's 53, one of the top power hitters in the villages. But uh, Mike wanted to increase his home run production as he moves up to major, major plus, and he's an 8 900 batter, but um, just has a hard time hitting home runs at well. So if you look at his swing, you'll see he's got a low to high swing, kind of a hand path that's up, the knob aims up over the top of the ball, and he doesn't get a crisp pro style snap. He gets top arm extension, see the knobs aiming up above the ball, top arm extension, and um, He's got great hand-eye coordination, but it's hit or miss whether or not you catch the ball quite right with that understep. Now, here Robert Blackburn, top pro level with a really radically great swing. His hand starts from high, the hand path and the knob initially go towards the ball. It's going to be the bottom half of it. Then he snaps, extends, and cuts through it. That's a great cut pro swing where he can hit underspin almost every time. If you watch again his side-by-side, you're going to hit a lot of top spin with, um, or flush balls with Mike's swing. And even though he has over-the-top power, his explosion, his hips, his launch angle are great. Um, he's going to ride over a lot of top of the balls. That's one reason why he has such a high average. But he does want to increase and learn how to hit underspin. So that's what we worked on. Again, watch. The knob comes up. The bat head drops below. There's a ball that's cleaved too thin. And it'd be probably a fly out. Of course, with this level of explosiveness, uh, a lot of his uh, balls he hits 60% are going to still carry out. Again, good stride, great rotation. Launch angles back maybe just a little bit, but it's hard to get any kind of a cut. He's not punching through. That bat's kind of sliding off the barrel at, a, at an odd angle, getting some top spin slices. It goes down the left field line. So he has to make some pretty dramatic adjustments in order to get a pro style cutting swing. Every swing is pretty much the same. You look, there's not much wrist snap. There's the extension of the top arm, but the wrists really don't torque. Watch them just push, push, push. Uh, you get more wrist snap with Blackburn style pro swing. We watch on the swing simulator, try to get a straight hand path. Look how he lifts it up at the end. That's very ingrained into his swing, so we had to try to get him to go straight line through and get a good rotation, a good stab, and a good snap. Watch how the knob's coming up. Watch his lead hand. Knob comes up, you're going to lose the swing right at the start. Look at Blackburn's knob, right down to the bottom of the ball. Right down the bottom half of the ball. See that? So that's how you get a good cut swing. And so it wasn't easy for Mike to change it, but as good to hit it as he was, he tried to do it. Now throw the bat, watch the knob come up again. Hand comes up again. You're delivering it at an up angle. you got to trust you can go down at it. And one thing is with his back shoulder dropping and that rotation, it's hard for him to level it off. So... If he could aim at the bottom of the ball like he did right here towards the end, aim at the bottom of the ball, drive the knob, short, quick, and fast instead of the rotation, snap the wrist, and get top arm extension. Um, you can see there's not a great wrist snap till after impact there, but the aiming point of the knob is much better, much flatter swing. I want to get the hands from high to low. There you go, much more level swing than he had before. That was up all the time. Uh, that, that's a great improvement. What's the knob? It's going to aim to where the ball is going to be. And then the hand path right there, the hands take over and go to the ball. That's a great cut swing, and the snap is more violent there. And um, his level of explosiveness, he hit balls 400 feet all day long. Now, we had a mix of 44, 375s, a few evil stadiums. Uh, but uh, look at Blackburn here, same thing. He's always going to cut the ball, and that way you can hit line drives into the gaps. You don't necessarily have to do anything besides that. Now, again, here... Uh, you want to make sure that um, the only thing I can do at my age to get a good distance and, and power is to get a good snap. So I've got a good snap, good top arm extension, don't have the rotation these guys have. So somewhere between Blackburn and what I'm doing is what you want to do. So here's our drill, rotation, then rotation and stab, and then snap. You teach it in three parts and then you work it so it's one, one motion together. Go back to the swing simulator the second day. Rotation, stab, and snap. There you go. Look at there. Nice down angle. Jimmer stick. Four and a half pound jimmer stick. Look at that. This is just absolutely phenomenal, Mike. Watch how the knob heads towards the bottom. Hands take over and drive down. Extend and snap and cut through. Beautiful cut swing. Let's look at the end swings here and see how much he improved. Awesome. What'd you think? That, that, yeah, that that's a 400 good. foot bomb. What? I just focused on going more to center or to right. And for some reason, that just works better with my swing and the snap. I get the snap at the better time. Good swing. Look at that. Nice. Good. Your, your hands, your rotation is going to make your hands late all the time. So that's what you got to do. Make sure you're, you're trying to snap your wrist 
from the very start of the swing. Don't try to drive your rotate and drive your hands. That snap your wrist. It's all got to be one motion for you, and for all of us really. But you're in particular. Yours in particular. Look at that. Miles per hour. Nice to have that kind of Dave. Nice to have a miss hit go out like that, yeah. eh? You didn't really miss that one, but uh, didn't get all of it. Ninety-one miles per hour. Seventy-five miles per hour. But, but see, there, there's a, there's the consistency you get. You know, you miss hit a ball, you hit, you hit a ball sixty-five percent with that swing, and still get it out, right? Look at that. 90 miles per hour. How fast was that? 90. 90. That's, that's pro level. That, that was Mike. Yeah. Was 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 hey, nice that's four fit. Hey, that's 450 range, baby. Hey, turn around and tell the back camera. <laughs> Technically, you just said three out of four. He went about 450. Tell the back camera right there what you what you're doing. Um, more of a. I'm I'm trying to cut swing down, snap, snap down at the ball. 42 miles per so your hour. wrist coming from the start to try to be a little bit quicker with your hands, right? Yeah, yep. just trying to, I'm focusing on thinking snap, thinking cutting down. Yep. Look at that. Nice. Wow. And 97. Ooh, that was looking. <laughs> oh, the Swami says, Swing D. Marini. Stay loaded, my friends.